Hey, 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 you guys. So today we are going to talk about how to create story pins. So why are we talking about story pins? Because one major, major factor and it's increased visibility sooner. All right. So technically that's two, right? Increased visibility and it's going to be seen sooner. So if you have created um, videos for Pinterest, right? You know, I created the blog post. I actually created a video tutorial to show you how to upload videos on Pinterest. You know that there is an approval or a review process where Pinterest actually reviews the video before they publish it to the platform, which is going to be very good. Like I know some people hate that, but think about like some of the videos that you see online that could be very, very offensive, right? So it has a review process and it could take like a day. Of course, as you start to publish more videos, they seem to get a little bit quicker when they review it. Like one video that I published today was already processed and published on Pinterest within 30 minutes. But you can look to the right hand side of the screen and you can still see that one video is still being reviewed. All right. So with story pins what I realized is there is no review process and you can use videos in your story pin so your videos can get instantly approved okay plus it's going to have increased visibility so one thing I want you to see on the left hand side where you see it has um she always starts it right that is actually a video pin and this pin has been on Pinterest for less than 30 minutes you guys as you can see it already has 631 impressions like to me that is freaking awesome 30 minutes 631 impressions I just want y'all to think about that for a second right now why is that so important to me why is that so um amazing to me because technically this pin, this story pin has nothing to do with the type of pins that I normally create. So if you're following my main account, you know, my main account is all about beauty, whether it be makeup, skincare, um, health and wellness, it's all about female health, looking good, feeling good. So pit bulls, that ain't really what they are interested in. But the fact that it has already 631 impressions in less than 30 minutes, you guys, like I'm going to show you how I was able to do it so you could actually do the same thing. So one thing that I noticed, right? I said this before, story pins is a new feature. It seems to be rolling out slowly. Majority of the accounts that I manage do have it. All but one actually does not have it. So I want you to check and see if you have it. And if you do have it, I definitely want you to go ahead and to um, create a story pin. So how are we going to do this? We're going to click on the plus sign so we can go to create. And then we're going to go to story pin. Boom. Now we're going to go to a new story pin because I was over there playing around with it. So now, as you can see, it says, what is your story pin about? So there's three templates, recipe, crafts and DIY or something else. So for the vast majority of us, we're going to be using something else, right? So one thing that I would do before I even click on this, before I do this, is you want to make sure that you have a purpose, you guys. This is going to be your strategy. Why are you doing what you're doing? This is going to be so freaking important. So I know that there are other social media platforms that have stories, such as Snapchat, such as Instagram, such as Facebook. So a lot of times with those other social media platforms, they'll use stories to kind of give you like the insight or the background of their days to create more of a personal connection, right? Remember, Pinterest users are purpose driven. So when they're on Pinterest, it's not because they care about what you ate for breakfast. It's not because they actually care about you. It's because they are looking for something specifically, right? They're trying to either find an idea, they're trying to figure out how to do something, or they want to solve a problem. So think about that before you actually create a story pin, all right? So something else, boom. Now, as you can see, it goes to my gallery on my phone. Before we begin, one thing that I would also recommend, and I've said this before, but I just want to reiterate this because over 80%, about 85% of Pinterest users are using their cell phone. You want to make sure that your images or videos are optimized for Pinterest, meaning they are vertical, not horizontal, right? You don't want them to be square, but you want them to be vertical. So that way it takes up more screen, which is going to keep their attention longer. And it's also going to get you more eyes on your actual pins videos or stories okay boom now let's go to it so as you can see I'm in my gallery right one thing that you can do is you could actually select up to 20 images or videos for your story pins so the very first 
uh, video or image that you select is going to be considered your cover, right? So your cover is the main attention grabber. This is how you drag more people into it to learn more about it. So for you, I would make sure that your cover image has a text overlay. It tells people what this is so they can actually click and learn more about it. Boom, strategy number one, right? So for this exercise, I'm just going to go ahead and select up to four videos. If you can see like my gallery, y'all, it's just like screenshots and dogs. So anyway, we're going to go to next. All right. So I've selected four, four pins that I or four images or videos that I wanted to select for my story pin. So now, as you can see, the very first one says add a title, because remember, that was the first one is your cover. So you want to go ahead and add a title. Then the second one. You see where it says page two, three, and four. So yes, those are in chronological order. So depending upon what is your goal, right? If you're doing a tutorial or some type of instruction or whatever you do, you want to make sure that they are in chronological order so people can actually follow along with you. So now let's go to the first one, which is our cover. It says add title. So for this, of course, I'm just going to say test. Okay. And as you can see on the four icons down here, so the left one you can actually select the color of the text. All right, the second one, you can select the alignment, you can select the background, and then you can also select the font, all right? So it's just a little bit over a handful of different type of fonts that you can select, and then you're gonna hit done, all right? Now to get back to the next story pin, all right, you go, we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna add a text. Now, we're just gonna say test one, all right? Test one. Okay. Boom. Now, one thing that you can see here. So you see the far left, that icon, you can actually change the 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 format of this pin or the story pin, I should say. So now look at that. So now it's it's more vertical, right? And you can actually put more text. You can put um, whatever you would like in this area. So another strategy that I would personally recommend you guys is this is what I've noticed. So this is what I'm going to recommend. When I created the story pin and I went back to view it, it just played the very first pin, but it didn't automatically roll to the second pin or the second um, page, I should say. So what I would do is in this text, I would add a call to action and I would tell people to click here for more or click here for the next step. Right? So I would just tell them like, Hey, click this, click this, click this. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. So then just assume we did the same thing with page three and then page four is the final page. So one thing that I would do here, another strategy, right? And if you guys, just so you can see, you can actually change the color surrounding the video. So yeah, look at that. That's changing the color. Boom. It looks like you can even add a picture. So let's see here. Okay, well, whatever. Y'all can figure that out. But anyway, what I would also do on the final page, you guys, is I would include your call to action, right? So in the money making pins, how to create pins that convert, we drive them to a website. Unfortunately, with story pins, it doesn't allow you to add a website, at least not right now, it doesn't. So um, what I would do is I would add your website on the final one. This is for more information or sign up here or register because if you got them on the final pin, like no matter how many steps, if you only had two pins, if you only had three of the story pins, right? If they've actually clicked, click, click, you have their interest. So take them to your website to get them to continue to sign up or do whatever it is, is going to be your conversion metric. Don't just have them look and leave because if they've clicked and they've clicked and they've clicked, they're interested. So you want them to do something with it, right? So I would actually say, hey, visit my website or register for whatever your call to action is going to be. And I would include it right there, dead smack on the story pin itself, right? So then we're going to go to publish. So this is going to be something else that they, it has in common with the video. So, you know, with the video, you can include a uh, your tag and your tag is going to be topics. And so once you include the tags, which are going to be the topic of that video, this helps people searching for that specific tag, but then it also helps Pinterest push it out to more people. So for this, we know that it's about dogs, right? So I can do, um, I'm typing dogs. I can do dogs, cute dogs, funny dogs, big dogs. Um, I know that it's also pit bulls and yes, 
for those of you who don't like pit bulls, y'all not my friend no more, but there's a group of people that are looking specifically for pit bulls. So we have pit bull, pit bull puppies, pit bull terrier, right? Or if you want to do, um, let's just say, right? If you want to talk about like dog training tips or whatever, right? So then after you select your tags, the very next step is just going to be to select the board that you want to put it in. So I'm not going to go to the next step because I don't want to put this in the board because I was just um, testing it out for you. But the board that you put it in, you want to make sure that the board has been optimized. You want to make sure that the board has your keywords in it. You want to make sure the board has the keywords in the description. And then also, if you have not done this already, you also want to make sure that that board has a category. So if you've created the board, you want to go back to edit the board to make sure that your keywords are in the board title, keywords are in the board description, and that you have a board category. So you guys, this is how I would recommend you set your story pins up. So one, make sure that you have a purpose. Why are you doing this? Make sure it's to serve your target audience. Number two is you want to make sure that you are walking them through the steps or the process or it has some type of chronological order, right? Then three is you wanna make sure on each story pin, you have a call to action, whether it be to click for the next one or to sign up for or register or purchase or whatever your call to action is, you guys. And then of course, to optimize it, aim for vertical images or, or videos so that way it takes up more of their screen. So those are my tips. I hope to help you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.